David, you are a dishonest jackass, and I will do a video response to thy first video response to you to show just how much of a dishonest jackass you are and show you how I never supported you or your philosophy. I never ever wanted to come out as a nigger or anything like that whatsoever. The only accurate statement you've made about me is I'm not a fan of the drug war. I'm very much against it. So let's go in and I'll show you exactly how everything you've thought about this video is entirely wrong because I don't think you actually watched it. I'm left with this conclusion. No matter how many comments you made on it, I'm just left to conclude that you never actually watched it because one of my big criticisms of you was you never actually addressed the main question or the main point of the video. And you still never did. Now, um, or you never did in any real sense because the one response you offered, I pointed out how it wasn't really a fucking answer to the question. Um, so anyway, let's, let's, let's go on about it here. Hey, Nagaritarian, I'm bound to tell, and, and uh, I'm very skeptical of Nagaritarianism thus far. Third sentence in the video. As you know, I'm very skeptical of uh, Nagaritarianism thus far. Nagaritarianism thus far. This was something that was established in our fucking comment discussion beforehand, where I heavily criticized you. And the only reason that that comment discussion ended whatsoever was because... We were at two different levels, and I couldn't convince you to see the error of your ways, and you couldn't convince me of the positives of your ways. All right, but I am admittedly very, very new to the idea. I should... See, I'm just new to the idea. I'm open to you sharing the idea with me so I can learn about it. Let's say really quick that I, I do agree with what you're trying to do here. Uh, again, I'm just stating this mostly for people who are just coming into the discussion now. They might not have read our comments on Federalist Films latest. Now see, I can see where you might have misinterpreted that as me wanting to help out Nagaritarianism. But the thing you fail to understand is that in our comment discussion, um, I pointed out that I agreed with your desire to make a better world. And I think I made this clear many times over, so I don't think that you could have possibly misinterpreted that unless, of course, you didn't watch my video. Video uh, where we discussed this issue. I agree with what you're trying to do here. I would prefer that we do end goals. as human beings. I just have doubts as to the effectiveness of your methods. And See, exactly there. The moment I just said you could have possibly misinterpreted it, I immediately said something that completely would blow that ter interpretation out of the water. It's not, I agree that we should view people as humans, but I disagree with your methods. That's in the first, how long has it been in my video? It's been 34 seconds into my video and I've made this clear. I don't see where you ever fucking thought I supported you in any way, shape, or fucking form. You dishonest jackass. It's my only fucking, it's my only fucking conclusion I can possibly make about you. I don't give a shit about your philosophy anymore. But you, as a person, are indeed horrible which does discredit your idea when you share it. Because I'm not going to trust somebody who's a dishonest jackass fucking be rational and be reasonable, which means to not be a dishonest jackass that discredits your ability to share information of any kind. So I'm here to learn more about them. Here to so learn. To better evaluate them and learn more from you. And, and maybe we... To better evaluate and to learn. How are you not getting this? I'm 40 seconds into my fucking video. Share and both of our philosophies about life and both of our perspectives can evolve and become more effective and we can better the lives of those around us more effective. And, you know, noble goals and whatnot. So I'd very like, much like to discuss this with you uh, further. What I, what I said there was essentially I'd like to have a debate and discussion with you so that we might be able to learn from each other and evolve our philosophies beyond our single perspectives. It's the basic goal of any fucking discussion. As we both stated, um, and I just recently returned to YouTube, um, so I'd really like to do video, at least a response video. I'd like to get one of those out there and in the open rather than just the last three videos I've made since I've been back, which have been responding to kind of generic events. Uh, I'd like to participate more in the discussion. So here I am. Um, and there I point out all I want to do is participate in a discussion. Again, I don't know why the fuck you ever thought I supported you. But you managed to touch on an issue that's very important to me, which is the drug war and all, all aspects of it. Sociologically, the psychology of the individuals involved, the science behind the drugs involved, and... 
So I have a quote here uh, that kind of relates to everything about the drug war, and it, and, it, and it uses the word nigger in its racially charged way to demonstrate the level of criticisms and hatred that generally gets placed on drug users, especially these days after 9-11, though this article was written before then, uh, where now with all the scares of terrorism, people have begun associating drug users with terrorists or calling them terrorist supporters. So that's even been added since this article was written. So I think this is only even more powerful now. Um, but, okay, so what I'm doing here is something that's called making a segue. You made a video about the drug war. That got me thinking about a quote, which gave me an opportunity to ask you about your philosophy. Not about the drug war, as you seem to think. The quote is as follows. The war on drugs has taught me that I belong to the last tribe of niggers on the planet, drug users. An entire shadow of society that it is all right to demonize, hate, harass, and incarcerate for the crime of altering my state of consciousness against the government's wishes. So, the, the, the power of this quote, I think, and I, I do think it's a very powerful quote, because, because uh, the, the associations made here, and the comparisons and the metaphors invoked, the imagery invoked, uh, the last tribe of niggers on the planet. It, it, it's, it's very powerful imagery that I don't think there could be a substitution for if we decided to use niggers in the way that you advocated, the word niggers. See, see how I did that? You said something about the drug war, so I made a segue using a quote about the drug war to talk about the fact that this quote about the drug war would be less powerful if the word nigger meant human, and thus this quote would be ruined. I was trying to show you how nigger, in its, with its negative definition, can still be used in positive ways when we recognize that and try and make comparisons to it. I just, I'm just curious, I guess, to, 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 to know... Here I come How with the question. react to, ex to exceptions to the idea that it, is, that it is always negative to use it in its racially charged way? See? I pointed out how there's this common belief that, you know, it's just bad to use it in its racially charged way, and this is clearly bad, and I, I thought that might have been a central part of your argument, considering nigger is a bad word, you want to make it mean human, you want to make it a better word. Now... I pointed out how it already has some positivity, and I just wanted to know how you responded to this exception. Because it's taking those those strong feelings that both and here I explain this the hatred and the the intense sadness and depression, and redirects them to bring light to another issue that is very that that I think is very important. And as I said, I think this is a very powerful quote, and I think a lot would be lost if a substitution would have to be made and tribe of niggers couldn't be used. Now, obviously, there are going to be exceptions to any philosophy uh, or any proposed change. There's always going to be something that it, doesn't, that it doesn't manage to completely improve or work out. That's just the nature of humanity. We're never perfect. Uh, so, I'm just curious. This, I know, so, I'm not asking you to, like, abandon your philosophy because of this solitary exception, I'm just curious as to how you would respond to this exception or any- I state it again. I asked, I asked, I wanted, I asked the fucking question essentially twice in the video. I didn't even know that because I don't go back and watch all of my videos all the time. But still, I asked it twice in my video. How you would respond to this exception. You still never actually answered my fucking question. You never actually fucking addressed anything I've ever said to you. Ever. Pretty much. The other similar exceptions to it all, because c c clearly it can be used, even in its racially charged way, uh, for a positive way, without having to even change the definition. Because it certainly isn't equating the word niggers to mean human, and just human beings and whatnot. So I look forward to your response uh, to, to this and my question. Uh, and yeah. After that awkward silence, I think I'll go. So I think I've shown you how you're a dishonest jackass. But if you'd like, I can make future videos where I, once uh, Federalist Films puts his videos back up, I can go and find our original comment discussion. I can go through all of the comments we I ever made about you, or to you, and I can review all of the discussions I've ever been in that had to deal with you that you could have possibly misinterpreted. 
This is the entire reason I don't like you, David. It's because you're a dishonest jackass. You make up things about my position. You completely fabricate anything about the past when it concerns me. All because... And I don't even know. Again, my only conclusion is that you didn't watch my fucking video. Because I just went through it. Point by point, showing you how anything you ever assumed about my position was just completely fucking wrong. So I'm not going to dislike Mojo Sideburns because he happens to be an egalitarian. Good for him. He has an opinion that I disagree with. Who the fuck doesn't? Literally every single other human being I've ever known has something I disagree with them on. Usually, there's a whole lot of stuff I disagree with them on, especially because my opinions are usually in a constant state of flux as I discuss with more people and I come up with different ideas or I see new facts or something else happens in the world that I have to adjust and account for or, you know, something like that. It's just, you know, opinions evolve and whatnot. So I disagree with a lot of things I even used to agree with, you know, even from just a few fucking weeks ago. You know, it's always in a state of flux for me. So disagreements isn't a bad thing. It's when you're dishonest about them that is. And that's why I dislike you. It has nothing to do with your philosophy or anything like that. I dislike you on a personal level, David, because you're a dishonest jackass. It has nothing to do with the Garretarianism, despite the fact that I do have heavy criticisms against it. But I made that clear in my, in my video. Not this video, but my second video. And I just don't see how the fuck you think your narrative makes sense whatsoever. And this is why you shouldn't... Not, and ugh. If you want to prove your trolls wrong, you shouldn't prove them right. It seems obvious to me, but they go around talking about how you're just a horrible person, and then you are a horrible person. And it's not as horrible as a lot of the claims they make, but it definitely gives them a little bit of credence because you're already demonstrating how you're incredibly dishonest and you're unwilling to accept any amount of truth, no matter how often it's pointed out to you. Because not only did I point this out in comment sections over and over and over and over again, but I made two videos pointing it out. So I'm just sorry. You're a fucking idiot. And I hate you. I don't, well, I don't hate you because I don't hate people much. You, it takes a lot more than this to earn my hatred. But I definitely dislike you. On a personal level. So, fuck you, David. I have no problems with anybody being an egalitarian. I have a problem with you being a jackass.